Hi guys, it's Anne and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, it's been a while. I'm really excited to do a quick unboxing today and I'm saying quick because I want to open it up so I can start using it. So as you can tell from the title of this video, it will be an unboxing from Hermes. So if you're interested in what I got, keep on watching. This was totally unplanned, but um, I don't know if you know, but the Hermes Boutique at Fashion Valley in San Diego is no longer there. It is at UTC, University Town Center, also in San Diego, but further up north. And I haven't been to that store, so this was my first time being there. And as much as I didn't want to buy anything, the sales associate there was very, very sweet. Not only to me, but to my husband and my kids. My kids especially. Um, they were all over the place. I didn't really mean to bring them. I just wanted to show uh, my husband which um, sandal I wanted. Yes, I said sandal. And what color I wanted. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I was making the right choice. And um, my husband was like, well... We're here now, might as well just get it, and you never know when we'll run out of that size, especially since Mother's Day is coming up, and I really wanted to give my business to the sales associate there, so um, here we go, let's get this unboxing started. By the way, I highly suggest you make an appointment. Um, we were in line for 45 minutes to almost an hour. I don't know why it was taking so long and the people were in there for like a long time and then they came out and didn't buy anything. So I'm not sure what was going on, whether they were trying to build a relationship or what. But yeah, that's my tip. Make an appointment first. So here is your typical orange bag with brown handles. Here is the box with the ribbon and it says, oh my goodness, can you see that? It says Hermes 2022 Lighthearted. That is awesome. So I am definitely going to add this to my ribbon collection because I still have um, my Birkin uh, box and ribbon there. and. Um, I'll show you what the difference is, but this is really cool because I really wasn't expecting um, this new ribbon. So yay! So I'm going to show you really quick the difference. So this just has, it just says Hermes Paris, doesn't have any dates or anything, and then it has the horse and the carriage. But if you look here, in this new ribbon, you see that? That's like um, somebody flying, like a superhero in the clouds. So that is awesome. I'm very, very happy about that. Oh, and the receipt. Sorry. Here is the typical Hermes um, receipt holder. Again, it's like your paper type of um, receipt, like the grocery receipt, um, the calling card of my sales associate, who's actually um, a selling supervisor. So there's that. I won't show you um, the receipt and I won't go over the price. I just don't do that on my channel. Um, you can look it up. Actually, I don't, I don't really want to ruin it but so here's a box it says Hermes Paris and then nothing around it and so here's the box I have two dust bags This is a size 37 
made in Italy. So I tried these on at the store. Um, I'm typically 36 and a half, um, but it was like very exact and um, my feet's not even. So one was actually going over the tip of it. So the sales associate recommended um, I get the 37. So again, Hermes 37, made in Italy. So these are the Hermes Oran sandals in all white which is the 2021 version um the old one had like a brown insole or like the top um part of the saddle was brown from here to the edge um, and a lot of people were complaining about getting uh cuts or calluses under the balls of their feet um and they might have changed it for more of a uniform look, which is actually pretty nice. Um, the sales associate really likes this model better than the old one um, because of the contrast on the sides and it just looks more uniform, as I mentioned earlier. So it says Hermes Paris here. And then um, on the inside, uh, it's all white, not like the old version where it had brown. Uh, on the inside and then you have um, your kind of like a serial number and yeah so I'm really glad I got the new version I'm a little bit worried because um, who knows how it will hold up because um, you know leather gets um, dirty and this is white but um, I was debating between the white or the brown or gold whatever they call it but um this was better as far as the look that i was going for which is more of um, a classy um, type of look i wasn't sure um if it matched well with my skin tone when i did try it on in the store um, it did match well so if ever i get another one it will most likely be uh, that color but for now um I'm just happy to have these um, and this actually goes well with um, my e tube Birkin because I can't imagine trying to wear brown with that one but um, because that is sort of like a chameleon color it goes well. Here is my e tube Birkin. As you can tell the white goes really well with that and plus I have my um, Click H here which is also uh, in white. so. The matching will totally um, work for this color. In the receipt, it is called the Oran Sandal in Box Calf. Um, it's the Blanc color. So here they are. Um, I'm going to put in some mod shots so you see how um, they look on my feet. Again, I got this in 37. I could have fit the 36 and a half, but um, my heels were kind of going over uh, the edge and um, I took my sales associate's recommendation and my husband's opinion and we settled on this color, on this style, and this size. So here they are. I'm gonna step into them. Don't mind my toenails. So that's how they look from the top view and then yeah. so it's just perfect the 36 and a half I was like way over the edge so this one is like a perfect fit like with enough allowance from the top to the edge Get closer. So yeah. So they are very comfortable, I would say. Um, I do uh, feel like the um, bottom or like where my 
heel is sitting on needs to um, be broken in um, because I could feel like uh, pressure so if I am standing for a very long time I feel like I'm gonna get some heel pain um, as far as the sides like it's not too narrow and I feel like it's not getting squished um, again excuse my toenails um, and I don't think I'll get any blisters from my pinky but I will let you know maybe I will do another uh, video uh, talking about um, how I feel after using it for a bit but so far it's pretty comfortable Thanks guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Please don't forget to share this video. I hope you have a great day and see ya.